today I'm going to look at using the Freesca software to program a new NFC card, near field communication card made by Fisker. Uh, program it for this car using that free demo software. So um, the NFC reader by the driver's steering wheel does work down here in on the UK car, obviously on the left on the US models. Uh, supposedly this is a new card, so I should be able to program it by putting against that reader with the right software. So uh, let's see if we can do that. I've got my laptop, a Mac in this case, and I've got what is meant to be the correct dongle for it, the V-Linker FD+. Plus. Uh, to make sure that the dongle was actually working, I scanned the QR code on the side, then prompted to do some updating uh, just using my phone. It um, did see that the dongle was there. Uh, obviously the car was powered up. I put foot on the brake to make sure it stayed powered up. And um, even though the software it said was the same version number, it went ahead and did an update to that same version number anyhow, which is a bit confusing. But it showed that it was communicating with the dongle and the dongle seemed to be working. Um, even though it only briefly appeared in my list of Bluetooth devices on my phone when I was doing it. Um, I think that can sometimes happen with these uh, low energy Bluetooth things. I'm not sure, but anyhow. Uh, let's try it on the Mac. So we've got a MacBook Pro. Going to use the Chrome browser. Let's see what's involved in getting it working. This is where the NFC card gets read or is programmed from. Uh, on the driver's side, this is the UK Fisker Ocean. And uh, that is where the dongle, the OBD2 dongle plugs in that way around. Uh, if you look carefully underneath, there's a few lights on it when the car is powered up. Right, so here we've got the Chrome browser and we've gone to uh, freesker.com and the website has checked that I've got a valid browser because it hasn't come up with a warning. So you need to use Chrome on um, a web compatible platform. This is a MacBook Pro and then there's instructions on how you set it up type in this address in the browser and then finding experimental web form features so experimental web is what you search for experimental web platform features currently disabled enable that start your browser okay so let's do that kill that window off Chrome quit somewhere on it. There we go. Du, du, du. Right, type in freesca again dot com. Yes, demo and pre order. Let's go to go to demo. Done all that. Please go to that. Activate your vehicle. Now we just have to make sure. The dongle is powered up so make sure your fob is working or hold it against the nfc reader keep your foot on the brake and try and connect i suppose let's see google chrome would like to use bluetooth allow connect there we go wants to pair scanning unknown unsupported device v-linker yay does actually find it BM6 is the Bluetooth battery monitor that I've got on there at the moment. Let's select that one and pair it. Vehicle VIN. Yay! Successfully detected VIN. Please create a secure password to link your vehicle's VIN and start tracking your car's assembly progress and fault status all in one place. Uh, sounds like this software was the software used on the assembly line. Sign up. Following VIN is not currently authorised. Please contact us for your VIN details. Contact. Let's try that again. Perhaps we should put in my details. Yeah, after a couple of emails I heard back from the Fisker people. I think my original email must have been blocked. Some of these domain domains have annoying spam filters on. Let's find my Chrome browser again. Here we go. So system on, foot on the brake pedal to keep it uh, powered up. Dongle plugged in underneath in the OBD port. Right, so we've done all that. Connect to linker, connect. There is linker, v-linker, pair, vehicle VIN. Put in the pin number. 
that I set up previously successfully detected the vehicle. Okay, start a version check now. Ooh. Start a trouble check now. Interesting. Service actions is what I really want to do to program the NFC card that I've got in my pocket. Let's do some service actions then. Uh, here we go. Train doggy windows. Add NFC card. That's the one we want. Execute. Hold the new NFC card to the interior reader. Should be the right thing to do. Let's say OK. I'm holding the card just by the steering wheel. It is thinking about it here. Now the first time, which you'll see here, it said zero cards paired. I actually ran it a second time and it said one card paired which I'd missed that on the video, but trust me, it did actually work. And it was able to start the car. Just get tick, last successful execution, zero seconds ago. Next thing to try is perhaps execute teaching the doggy windows. Don't put your hands in the window. Okay. One of those got down. Must be the other side, I think. I think that one went down. There it goes. There it goes. The other doggy window being trained it is currently all the way down and there it goes going up very good so the only trouble now is that if i ever disconnect my 12 volt battery of course i lose the doggy windows again see what else we've got recalibrate radar adas recalibrate seat eating soon so those will come to later after i got a full version to try out Soft resets, hard resets. What can we do in the demo version? Number of paired key. I think we've got about three of these to try. So, next, it's got a tick on it and it actually worked. That's good. Uh, now, what else do I want to do? In demo mode, each free script can only be run once. That is going to be useful because I've just changed the windscreen or had it changed, as is that one. Although they seem to sort of work all right, actually. Didn't uh, come up with any errors after changing the windscreen. Hard and soft resets of the ECU. Well, I think you could probably do those by disconnecting the power. I'm not so worried about those. Would like to read any error codes, though. Let's have a look. Trouble check. Start trouble check. Monitor and manage your car's diagnostic trouble codes with ease. It looks like no diagnostics have been run yet once initiated you can view and track all detected dtcs let's do that that sounds like fun select all demo mode only three randomly selected ecus can be read out complete list is available in the full version oh okay so again quite a good reason to have the full version this is not going to be terribly interesting just looking at three of them electronic stability randomly selected uh, what else have we got? Body control. Oh, well, we'll do it anyhow. Next. Processing. Chassis. Uh, oh, that's interesting. It says we've got body control mode. We've got an active error code. Lost line for communication siren. Oh, well, that is a valid error code because I've pulled out the siren um, fuse. So that is absolutely correct. Yep. Chassis. What does that say? Three historic ones. Electronic stability program. Historic timeout error. Uh, something could be powered down. I timed out. Body control. Timeout error. Similar. Battery management system. High voltage battery status. Overall timeout error. So again, something else timed out. Possibly, again, because I disconnected... Well, both the 12 volt and the high volt at some point, so that's not too surprising. But it does seem to work though, so that's quite good. Uh, what else can we do then? Version check. Now that'd be useful because I'm on version 2.1. Ah, that's annoying. We need we need the full version to get all of the modules read out. Let's just select what we can do then. I wonder if. This changes every time you activate it. Cancel. Uh, start version check. Ah, it does actually. So the random selection of what modules 
changes every time you select it. Pretty much the same thing every time. Oh well, we'll run it anyhow, I suppose. See what it tells us. There we go. Select all. Next. That's interesting. Infotainment. A half of OS 2.0 and a half of 1.11. Uh, that's why my system is a bit buggered up, basically. Powertrain OS 2.1, one of one. What's going wrong with the infotain infotainment then? So, ICC is version 2. I suppose it's possible that they didn't need to do any vehicle sound for pedestrian update, which is why it's on 1.1 still. 1.11. Uh, these other ones, and again, they might be the same with that one, not sure. Anything more in that? Assembly, hardware, versions. I'll have to look on the internet, see if those codes mean anything to anybody. But, uh, yeah, that's quite interesting. Potentially, if I had the full list of codes. Let's see, motor control unit front. At least that's on 2.1, okay. Okay, dashboard, what's in there? Oh, that's interesting. So we're a third OS 1.1. A third version 2.0 and a third version 2.1. Hmm, interesting. And those are the faults we already looked at. That is quite nice. I think that's about it for the demo version, actually. But it does what it says, pretty much. Let's go back to service actions again. Clearing DTCs, recalibrate. I don't know what DTCs I've got, so I can't do that anyhow because it says coming soon. Uh, anything else I can do? Hard reset of T-Box. Oh, would that make any difference? Can't really see it making any difference for us in the UK because we haven't got any internet anyhow. And is a hard reset of T-Box via that to the same as just powering off the 12 volts? Don't know. Currently, we're just showing the standard four slightly greyed out bars for mobile reception which I don't think means a lot no 4G indication to show that we've got on the internet uh, I think it's all been turned off in the UK but I'm not completely sure about that so pretty much that's the, the only one we haven't done oh apart from number of paired key fobs uh, let's have a look at that shows the number of paired key fobs okay how many have we got? One. Oh, that's good, because that's the one I've got. Tick. And let's do a T-box reset as well. People say you can pull out a fuse in the uh, passenger fuse box compartment. Or for the US, I suppose it would be drivers. Uh, but it revo involves removing some side panels and things, which is a bit of a pain. I suppose if you can do it with the software just by pressing a the button, then that's potentially uh, useful. And that's the only function I've done in this demo. So, yep, let's do that. Reset the T-Box. Green slash red light in overhead console went off. We got an SOS light. And green light underneath it. Reset the T-Box. Green slash red light. Overhead console went off. Let's see. Let's click on OK, see if it does. Well, charging system failure, brake system. E call not available. Oh, that triggered lots of interesting things. Uh, now seems to be making the pedestrian moving noise. Fans come on in my ADAS. And now it's gone off. Fire pressure monitoring system. Oh dear, charging system failure. Please remove charger. Ah, we're on the charger at the moment. Preparing to charge. Ooh, that was all rather interesting. Charger was actually plugged in. Tire pressure system failure. Well, I certainly did a lot of resetting. And the screen says it has been reset. That has all gone back to normal now. Brake system and blah, blah, blah. That's the normal. Charger not locked. Tire pressure system. 
Yeah, we've certainly had some big resetting going on. I think by the looks of things, charging started again. Still in park, all the errors have gone away. And indeed, green light on the SCOS button went away. So it said something about the light disappearing. I'm gonna assume that's not gonna work anyhow. Let's see if it actually does not it. Oh, green light comes on, flashes. I guess it's trying to make a call. E-call is active. Oh, that's interesting. Huh? I don't think it really is a flashing. No, obviously can't make a call because I haven't got any mobile internet. Let's see if I can turn it off. Oh, hello. Emergency, what's our name? Oh, hello. I was just testing the SOS. Sorry, I wasn't aware that uh, this was working. Can I disconnect? You don't get police or no, sorry about that. No, I, th I th no didn't problem. think I was connected. Right. Are you in the UK out of interest? Yes. Oh, sorry about that. Okay, thanks. Bye. No I'll end the call. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Cool, blimey. That did actually work. So, somehow, I seem to have managed to uh, enable some internet connection or uh, telephone connection. And now the green light's back on again. Well, that certainly did something. And just for confirmation that the doggy windows are actually working, let's try California mode on the key fob. And there it is working on the key fob. Cool. And that's confirmation using the interior button that the doggy windows are actually open along with everything else. Uh, don't forget, you have to do the window calibration by putting each individual window down and then hold it till it goes all the way up. So the one touch features and the California mode actually works. So inside, California mode is now working. There's the doggy window working. So that's pretty much it for demonstrating the demo version. Uh, if you like that, please put a thumbs up on the video. Please subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon for notifications of new videos. Because hopefully the next one will be doing a demonstration of the full version of Friska. Um, which I've got for a couple of days. They've kindly um, given, well, are going to give me two days of access. So we'll go through some of the additional functions that the full version does. But so far so good. Okay, thanks for watching. Good luck with yours. Thanks. Bye.